Hello guys, welcome to my channel Learn Tech. This is Sandeep Kohl here. I hope you are doing good. So uh, today's uh, video actually which we are going to take is on one of the uh, you know uh, uh, requests which were coming from a lot of people. So uh, here uh, we are today we are starting a series on BMC Helix. So what I will do, I will initially give you a brief of what is BMC Helix and you know going forward we will have more such videos on uh, respective applications we will understand what is BMC Helix and what is new thing in BMC Helix how uh, it is integrated with the existing ITSM uh, platform or applications so we will see all this okay so let's get started Now as you can see my screen, I am on a you know, uh, you know main console or would you will uh, call this as a you know launch pad. So this uh, BMC Helix, it was introduced uh, you know uh, by BMC initially as part of a cloud um, uh, you know uh, application. So you know now uh, most of the applications are moved to cloud and uh, customers also prefer something which is readily available and uh, where you don't need to do any physical installation or something which is readily available. So BMC came up with an idea uh, where they uh, built these uh, um, uh, you know applications or they created a platform on cloud which is called BMC Helix. Okay. So this Helix platform it has its own uh, you know setup applications, own development framework, own uh, integration framework. You have a lot of things in, in BMC Helix. And it is also integrated with the existing ITSM application. So the existing ITSM applications which you are using, like you use it through mid-tier or you know uh, smart IT, my IT, everything is there in the Helix, but it has some more additional things. So that's what we will see today. So you can see on the screen, if you see, uh, I have you know multiple uh, uh, boxes here. Some of them you might be familiar with like for example digital workspace, discovery, then um, this one uh, mid-tier, CMDB, digital work, uh, workplace, digital workplace catalog and Helix ITS. So uh, these, uh, these you know all the boxes represent different you know different uh, you can say uh, different applications or different ways of accessing. Uh, what is there in the BMC Helix. So uh, the new things which you can see here or maybe the people uh, who are not you know familiar with Helix is like this business workflows, integration services, then we have innovation studios also or we call it uh, Helix platform. Then uh, we have Helix ITSM. <coughs> now let, let me explain you you know uh, everything one by one. So this digital workspace, uh, sorry, uh, workplace administration. Uh, if I directly click on it, it is uh, you know normal administration of your uh, digital work uh, space or my IT. So you know what BMC did? They renamed my IT to digital workplace or digital uh, or digital uh, workspace. So then uh, you you have this. This is the same thing which you used to get in my IT. So this is all the administration part here. Okay, we'll not go much into this. We'll explain it with some other videos. This is just for your understanding. So where you would basically, you know, add the catalogs and then make changes in the catalog so that it will be visible in the my IT. So this is that administration console which was already existing with my IT. Now it's called digital uh, workplace admin admin console. Earlier we used to call it my IT administration console. Okay, so this is the same thing. Now let me go back. Okay, now uh, before moving on to the other parts, let me show you uh, uh, what what are the existing applications which are you know similar Sorry, what are the uh, existing applications which you will be already aware if you know PMC Remedy. So for example, this mid tier, it's the same uh, ITSM console. If you access it, it is the same console which you are uh, you know using while uh, using the existing ITSM. 
so it will directly uh, redirect you to the same uh, you know all set of applications incident problem change the same uh, navigational console everything is same here okay if you want to access the existing application so this is the way to you know access it now you can uh, see it is the it is similar to our existing ids i will not you know go much into the uh, detail i have already given you uh, i have already um, you know created a lot of videos on uh, these mo different modules and you know this okay so let me go back here so similarly uh, we have uh, here this uh, we have discovery it's also um, the earlier bmc edm uh, now they we call it as bmc helix discovery but earlier it used to be called as uh, bmc discovery too then similarly you have this digital workspace <coughs> or a digital uh, workspace catalog so digital workspace if i click on this it is the uh, you know uh, a refined version of uh, my it so now my it is called as digital workplace okay it's called bmc Hel uh, helix digital workplace but the you know um, the front end if you look at it, you will you know it is similar to my it so my it what we had you can see here it is basically the requester console from which you can uh, you know raise multiple requests you can uh, define your um, you know catalogs so in earlier itsm we used to define the catalogs in in uh, srm and then they were integrated with my it and we used to see them in my it or request them in my it so this is the same console but now the definition of this uh, the console is same but the definition or how you define these catalogs has all changed okay so i will sh uh, show you that console also for example all these catalogs which have been defined here the requester uh, they, uh, none of them have been defined in the service request management so it is a new console in which you basically define them and then use them okay so let me go back so uh, if i say digital work uh, workplace catalog let me click on this so this digital workspace catalog it is the uh, <coughs> same uh, digital um, you know workspace but it is um, here you will define the new catalogs which i was actually talking about so earlier we used to define the um, service catalogs in srm and then we used to access them through my it any changes we make in srm it will be automatically reflected in the my it but now here this is the new place where you define your catalogs so you can see the process also has changed now it has these things like service action workflows entitlement roles and entitlement you would know this is the same thing then roles and sub catalogs and reports we will take a video on separately on this where i will explain you how to define a catalog how to define a service then how to access that service from your new digital workspace that we will uh, take it separately because it's a big topic we uh, where you can define your service catalog you can define your workflows so current now you you know the process you define here you know, for the catalog to work is called workflows we will we will understand that. it is just an overview and i'm just showing you the console how it looks like so this is how it looks like okay now let me go back here okay now we have seen something which we, which we are already familiar about like we have seen uh, our itsm which is mid tier itsm you know this then we have seen you know uh, my it or a digital uh, workplace or a digital workplace catalog is a new thing which we have seen now so now let me show you how the helix platform looks like this is if i go here so this is an uh, helix it itself is a complete platform where you will you can develop your own applications you can integrate those applications with our itsm solution and also you can create your own new separate application so you can see this is how it is we will we will take a separate video on this where i will show you how to define how to create a new application how to define you know forms processes because here the process is completely different uh, than the uh, normal remedy itsm where you will you know directly develop something in the develop, developer studio and then you will uh, you know you will uh, create those forms uh, workflows like filters escalations and then you uh, view them through mid tier but here the process is completely different 
you can define your own application but the structure how you define it how you built your workflows this is completely different we'll take this video okay but this is the base uh, we call it innovation studio okay so innovation studio is the place where you have all these applications which have been built currently by bmc out of the box you will get these applications like approval assignment retirement service so you can define a library you can define an application we will come to it when we will take a video on it then you can also you know do the administration of helix in through this console if you uh, go to the administration console then all the administrative part can be done here in the in this uh, particular uh, section okay so if I go, I go back to the workspace it will show me all the applications which i have built so these are uh, please uh, note these are not uh, applications which we uh, you know built normally in itsm these are something which we define or create in helix so this is something new we will we will explore this more let me go back okay now we have seen helix platform a digital workspace catalog helix um, itsm also we have seen digital work workplace we have seen so this is my it this is our itsm this is a new platform then we have something called business workflows let me open this also so currently in this video i'm just giving you an overview of all the new modules which are there then we will deep dive into the every module we will deep dive and see uh, what is there and how it is used how we can create multiple applications how we can use you know helix platform how we can use digital workspace catalog how we can define business workflows everything we can see here so here if you see there is a already a defined application called case management so you can use it to create new cases define new knowledge articles then in workspace you will work and then define this you can also define your catalog then in business workflows you will get the options to define all this like assignment approval so this is what we will see uh, for example this case management itself is an application uh, built on helix okay so this is an out of the box application they have provided us but we can create our own application which will have which will be a completely different application okay so we will see this more now let me go back here again okay now uh, for the, uh, the in the in the you know that um, uh, any application will not work of its own it has to be integrated with multiple applications earlier you know in itsm uh, or bmc remedy we used to integrate through web services like initially it was uh, soap based web services then db link then uh, we or xml based integrations and uh, java based integrations but then uh, we moved on to the rest based apis now in this uh, helix platform the all the integrations which will be defined will be done through this integration service so if you open this integration services all the integrations which we define with a third party application will be done through this uh, integration services so uh, it's taking some time to open so i think we need to log in here so let me see if my user will work here uh, i think i don't have an access here sorry so integration services uh, we will take it separately uh, let's not uh, you know this is just an overview so this is place where you you know uh, you can define all the integrations so currently okay then uh, cmdb also the look and feel has been changed if i click on cmdb part you can see earlier the cmdb was managed as part of the itsm application itself but now cmdb has its own console i have already taken a video on this where i have explained how to work with new cmdb uh, how to define normalization reconciliation and any other operation in cmdb i have already taken a video on this so this is the same thing i will not you know uh, uh, talk much on this because i have already explained you everything the console how it works how it functions it's all there in my videos you can go through my videos and check it. okay then uh, we have chatbots chatbot also is available there but you need to have the ibm because uh, chatbots work with ibm watson so uh, the, the ai part is taken care by ibm watson bmc chatbots will integrate with 
IBM, uh, sorry, IBM Watson, and then uh, IBM Watson will do all the, you know, uh, the artificial intelligence part, and then it will uh, create tickets for you, so you can interact with the chatbot. So that we will see, okay, in when we take a video on the uh, chatbot. Then similarly, uh, we have uh, this business workflow. Okay, sorry, we have seen all, already the business workflow. So we have the discovery part. If you go here in the discovery, it is again uh, the same uh, ADDM or BMC Helix discovery which we have already seen, where I have already taken a video on this BMC discovery where I have explained you how it works, how it functions. This is already um, you know taken care of uh, in 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 the. In my videos, if you see, I have already explained you how this new console works. We will take more videos on it. We'll deep dive into other things like consolidation of uh, these um, ADDM, how uh, consolidated environment works. And we will we will take into uh, that into the uh, sorry we'll take that into the consideration while creating more videos. Okay, service modeling I have already explained on this. So this is the new console. So this is actually the whole uh, platform of Helix. So today I gave you just an overview of what exactly is there, how we define, uh, how we access different applications. So if you get an, if you have an already an Helix, um, uh, you know, environment or a, when you will get yourself one or provision one, uh, one environment for you, then you will get something like this, which is uh, called Launchpad. Okay, this URL you can uh, open it, and from there you can access all the. Uh, you know, applications like CMDB, mid-tier integration service, then digital workspace. Then also you can also define uh, uh, this um, uh, MyIT. So similarly, uh, the last thing which I want to show is this Helix ITSM. If you open it, it's nothing but the smart IT which was, which we haven't discussed. So, so this is uh, the smart IT app which earlier was called smart IT, now it's called Helix ITSM. So from this app, there, the one, one good thing which I like about this app now is that you can access everything from here. If you click on this more, earlier we used to get only these options like configuration and reports, but now you can get everything. You can access approval center, you can access asset management console, then you can also get innovation studio, then you can also access, uh, you know, this, uh, where, you, where it is, yeah, uh, this admin console for uh, DWP. Then similarly, you can also access the DWP A admin, which is the console where you define the catalog and services, which I already showed you. So you can access most of the uh, part here from this uh, smart IT, uh, or we call it Helix ITSM now. Okay. So we will uh, take a video on this. I already have explained you, uh, you know, smart IT um, earlier how it functions, how it works. It is the same thing. It is there is no difference here. The only thing they have done is I think they have added these links here. So from here directly you can open this, you know, console and you can, for example, if I want to open this innovation suit, I can directly open it from my, uh, this uh, smart ID console. Similarly, I can open digital catalog or a digital workspace from my uh, smart ID console. So you can, you can see this is the same, um, same innovation studio which we just discussed, okay. So uh, this was it from my side on uh, you know Helix overview. So Helix again, it's a um, it's a cloud version of BMC where BMC is you know uh, trying to get everybody on cloud or any uh, any customer who is more you know happier, more accommodative in going to cloud. So BMC can offer them BMC Helix, and um, for all the existing customers, BMC is also asking them to move to Helix. Because this is the new version of BMC, and if you upgrade it, you have uh, you know options either to upgrade to the cloud where your uh, you know applications will be hosted, or you have an option of you know uh, getting a private cloud where uh, you can install these Helix applications on your uh, in your private cloud. Similarly, BMC also gives you an option to install Helix on-prem. So where the ITSM application, for example, the mid-tier part, it will be, uh, you know, hosted on your on-prem environment where you can do the installation of ITSM. So that in, in that case, it will not be a cloud application. It will be your own private or even on your own premises, the system will exist. Okay. So this is how the uh, Helix works, functions. 
we will uh, start with uh, with one of the you know key aspects of helix which is digital workspace catalog so i will take a video on this so stay tuned i will explain you how to define catalog how to define services how to what is an action uh, what is an you know uh, workflow and how it all functions how it all works together and then how you can define a bundle service how you can define a single service how you can access that service from your digital workspace and then how you can request something from that service so we will take that uh, you know uh, this video separately so stay tuned please subscribe to my channel uh, like my videos so that i'll get you more content on bmc helix and other applications thank you